But first, it seemed too good to be true, and it was. But when this retiree realised he was the victim of an elaborate scam, it was too late. He lost all of his savings. No one deserves that, especially not Gary. You are embarrassed because you're a fool, but you're not a fool, but you got done. And then now all your plans aren't there anymore. Gary Meachin lives a modest life in the idyllic Hunter Valley, in the town of Broke. And now, thanks to an online scam, he's broke in Broke. All up was 411,000. There was Like many of his generation, he fell hard for a fake Facebook ad. And I was following Elon Musk and I saw him there and I saw the Prime Minister's face there and Julia Gillard and a few stars through the media in industry and, and I thought, well, this is pretty well safe. But it wasn't safe. It was a deep fake AI generated ad. What's the difference between those scammers and me? First off, I'm Elon Musk and I need nothing from you. I will show you proof that my project really works. The ad lured investors with promises of a better life. Taking a vacation 10 times a year, no problem. Buying a house and paying off all debts, no problem. And it wasn't Elon Musk, you know, it was... AI generated. AI technology, you know. And it was on Facebook. And, you know, what can you say? After Gary saw it, he and wife Ingrid responded online and were given a number to call. That's when the mysterious Raymond entered their life. He was just... He was very good, he? Was, he? was very good. And he's got his blues music playing in the background and he's singing along sometimes when you're delayed because you're trying to find a password or something like that. Very skilled. Very friendly. Raymond hooked them. Highly sophisticated. And the screen was there. You could read it every day. You could see it. You it was could intoxicating. It, it was, yeah, it was intoxicating. You'd go and, go and look at it three times a day just to see how much money you were making. The couple began with a $20,000 investment in the supposed cryptocurrency investment scheme. Eventually, they tipped 350000 in. And on the scam website... What's the 350 double? We thought we'd make a million within two weeks. Where's your investment? My investment's here. One cent. And why is it one cent? Well, well, it used to be used to be a big number there. What was the what what, what was the number that used to be there? Seven hundred and fifty thousand. Well, no, it was seven hundred thousand up to one stage. Yeah, but so once once you've paid your deposit, they give you access to this site. Yeah. But for all intents and purposes, this is just all. Rubbish, yeah. Just fantasy. Yeah. Gary, a trained chef turned landscaper and wife Ingrid, fell on some hard times during the GFC 15 years ago, but rebuilt their nest egg to more than $400,000. They planned to caravan around Australia. We definitely deserve to, you know, be successful and, and be given something for all the effort that we've done. I mean, my wife is a nurse. She's been a nurse all her life, and she's been a caring nurse. He himself has received numerous imagine. awards for service in the community. Oh, here you are. Landscaping excellence. <laughs> i got a job for you at my place. <laughs> oh, hello. Queen Elizabeth II. Oh, this is the centenary medal. Yeah. You got a centenary medal? Yeah. Is that all right? Services to the community and charities and all yeah. the things, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Good on you. Done my bit as an Australian, I can tell you. Yeah, you deserve better than what yeah. you got. The couple knew they were in trouble when they tried to withdraw money. As soon as they did, the scammers asked for a further 60000 to release their own funds. When we knew the money was actually gone, that's when it hit. And that's when your dreams and your future is suddenly smashed. And that's when you think to yourself, that's when the fear comes into your gut. And that's when you start to break down mentally because it takes you to a hole. You go into a hole. But you're a smart guy, Gary. Like, how did it happen? That's what he kept saying. What did he say? He said, you're a smart guy, Gary. You, you know, you're not, you're not stupid. Um, all the clients I have, you're clever. And he kept saying that. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Gary has enlisted the services of Cybertrace, which hunts down stolen money. 
Company CEO, Dan Halpin. We're dealing most of the time with international scammers who are attached to uh, criminal syndicates. So we're easy target, we've got money. And the main point that needs to be made here is that they know the Australian authorities won't go after them. Gary and Ingrid are pleading for help. Firstly, from the multi-billionaire owner of Facebook. We focus on building technology so people can interact with each other. I'm saying to you, Mark Zuckerberg, why don't you give it, give it back to some of the victims that have been caused by you making money out of uh, this, this activity? And the police. I want the police to try and get me money back. Um, I des we deserve it. And, um, I mean, who's stopping this? Why, why, why does this ad exist? I'm eagerly awaiting you at the next stage. See you soon. Goodbye. Gosh, you feel for Gary, don't you? And these social media giants have a lot to answer for. I don't know how many times we've alerted them to scams like this, using Aussie billionaires, us TV types, to rort and rip off people. We have no power to stop it, and those who do, they don't seem to care.